Well, oh, come on, do it. The 2024 Arnold Classic. It is going to be so exciting. Look at Andrew Jack. Oh my goodness. Look at that midsection, that flow. And look at the other dude, Nexilla. Oh my goodness. The muscle is just so huge and muscly. Hello, everyone. Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle. And today we're going to compare Andrew Jacked. From the Texas Pro. I believe that it was his best to date version. We're going to do a comparison between him and this big newcomer, Rubiel Mosquera, otherwise known as Nexilla. These two guys are both competing at the Arnold's Classics. Come on! I put them in front of an Arnold's Classic stage. I hope Superset Man likes the work I did on this picture. Not as good as he does, but you know, you know, you know. I'm trying, I'm trying to keep up. But anyway, guys, this is going to be an outstanding comparison, but it is going to be an even better comparison in real life at the Arnold Classic. Because if you ask me, and you know, I know a thing or two about the sport. Of course, my prediction videos are never right. But anyway, wait, wait, wait. I do believe these two dudes will be side by side come Arnold Classic time. Wow, wow. Front double bicep pose, guys. We're going to dive right into this one. Like I said, both competing at the Arnold Classic. So is Hattie Schupin. So is Samson Douda. And both of those guys are poised to have a better placing than these guys. Anything's possible. But other than uh, these two guys, I don't see anybody else getting in there. Andrew Jacked, he is winning this front double bicep pose, even though he is being outmuscled in the lower half. Not even a question. He has some darn good quads. And thus far, Andrew Jack may look the best in the comparison quad for quad. I'm not saying he's winning. But everybody else looked like they had petite little whiffles. Andrew Jack got some nice quads. Calves, not so much. But everybody else falls victim to that. Look at the upper body. Andrew Jack has never had that lat size with that type of condition. He was the cock of the walk at that Texas Pro, and he knew it. He was strutting his stuff. I think it's a, a mental game with Andrew Jacked. Here's the front uh, lat spread. It seems like when he is at an event where he's not sure if he's going to win or not, he doesn't show his true colors. So hopefully this, uh, this upcoming Arnold Classic, where there is the previous Olympia champion and Samson Douda, I hope he gets it, it puts everything together, and he does show us the best. Because this front lat spread, again, he is being outmuscled. He is. The upper body's better here for Rubiel Mosquera as well. Big Nexilla. B better than his front double, I should say. Not better than uh, Andrew Jack's front lat spread. But it's closer. It's closing the gap. And when his legs are better, are they really better? Andrew Jack has some good. He's got some good. He has. He is in possession of some fine cuts. Very fine cuts in them quads. If Rubiel, and I know, bodybuilding a game of ifs. If he had them fine cuts, he'd be unstoppable. But that upper body, wow. Andrew Jack is supreme, supreme. Now, here's the the side chest, and hold on, hold on, hold on. I can hear you guys now. Mark's Max Muscle, you were doing standard up until the side chest, and now you have thrown everything out of whack. The sizing, I know. Andrew jacked at the Tampa, or at the Texas, rather. He was bending at the knees substantially. And in the case of Rubiel, he is holding his far leg straight, so it renders them close to being the same height. Now, here's what I'm saying. Some so, 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 Here's Andrew Jacked last year from the Texas and this year's Texas. Almost last year's and the year before's Texas. If you wait a few more days, well, you can see his far lag. And if you size it correctly, I mean, head size and everything, he's holding his head a little bit back. Last year, made it a little bit smaller, but still, still, you can see that if he. He held his far leg straight. But my point is, guys, my point is, he's probably losing to Nexilla, whether he stands up straight or he bends down. When he bends down, he looks pretty thick, and he can get a victory over certain guys. But he ain't going to play that game with Rubiel. I'm going to tell you that right now. What do you guys think, though? Do you think he's better off standing up tall? 
I think he is. I think it's his only, it's his Hail Mary chance here. But still, still. Side tricep. Now, obviously, Andrew Jack is, he's the, the poster boy for the Mannion position. Because he was the one. Because, and I think it's fair to tell them now, you know, Andrew Jack, you're awesome. We like this pose, but we want to see from the side. And that's fair. To the, somebody that doesn't understand, that doesn't get that. Bodybuilding is all about making it even for the guys that are good from the back, the guys that are good from the front, and the guys that are good from the side. You gotta show the side of the leg. Guys like Roly the Beast Winkler, unbelievable from the side. And it was only fair to do a side comparison. And a guy like Andrew Jack, maybe not the best. You could see from the side just bulls. But when he holds that leg straight, a la Sean Roden, wow, really nails it, really nails it. But, you know, my uh, my opinion on that, if the judges are going to vote a certain shot, and I agree with them, go to the side, go to the side. And now, go to the back. Now, you could imagine if somebody went half-tilted in these back shots, it would only be unfair, right? Andrew Jacked, he's not getting bullied. I'll tell you that right now. Not getting bullied at all. He needs, obviously, it's the same old story, guys. He needs more condition. And in this side-by-side -side comparison, Rubiel, I think he's right there with Mr. Jacked. To be honest with you, uh, Diane, almost forgot her name. My goodness, my goodness. A little more separation in the lats for uh, Nexilla as well. That would be Rubio. Here's the rear double. Andrew Jack could be, in fact, in trouble in my predictions. If you hadn't watched the prediction video yet, go see the uh, competitors list. But I have Jacked ahead of Rubio. I think he's going to bring his best package, package of all time. But is it going to be enough to beat Rubio? And that's the question, too. Is Rubiel going to be as good? He was on fire. He competed the day before. That could either hurt you or help you. It obviously helped. Rubiel, as he looked even better the next day. Will he be able to live up to the hype? There was no hype at the Prague. It was only, like, EP09 was the only channel talking about him. We all d dismissed him. Oh, EP, take it easy. He's not that good. And then the next day, obviously, we were we hitchhiked onto that bandwagon. But either way, yes, he is that darn good, and hopefully he does bring this pack each. Abs and thigh? Hmm? Some, some people are going to say, oh, Rubiel could beat Andrew Jacked in the abs and thigh. Well, uh, to that I say, eh, eh, I don't think so. No way, eh, eh, no way, no way. People don't say that enough anymore. Eh, eh. Like, uh-uh, no way. I don't know who invented that. They deserve a handshake. Maybe that or a, a backhander. Could deserve a backhander. Who knows? Who knows? Either way, guys, come on. Come on. All that muscle, he can only go but so far. I mean, if you just look at the upper body, Jack still winning. Still winning. Long torso, man, is this neck, Zilla. Neck included... And the most muscular, neither, neither, or there, either Andrew Jacked or Nexilla, which is surprising, I guess in both cases. Neither of them, I don't think, would have uh, their most muscular be their favorite pose. Both guy looks, both guys, I apologize, last quarter here we get a little bit tongue-tired. Not tongue-tied, tongue-tired. Of course, if you're tongue-tired... You'll probably say tongue-tied. Vice versa. Vice versa. Say that ten times and whistle after eating dry crackers. It's impossible. Except for the... But anyway, guys. Anyway, anyway. I believe that if you use pitchers, you know, you're not going to get the, the full story. In particular, in this case, where the conditioning from the back, things of that nature, glutes, hamstrings... It was too close to tell from pitchers. I think you would need to be there to see. So it would depend. Could be uh, Andrew Jack. Might be the more conditioned guy. If that's the case, he will win. Because I think it's a, a tie game as far as poses. 
If you give Andrew Jack the most muscular, if not, then you're going to go with Nexilla. It was two front, and the two last shots I was giving to Jack. I was giving the two side and the two back. Take a look at the back. <laughs> giving the two back shots to um, Nexilla. So, yeah, if it's a tie game, you're probably, in the conditions even, you're probably going to go with Jack. Why? Because he'd win the symmetry round. I mean, he, he's a big silhouette, the big man. He's a great big man. He's the man's man. But the muscle size of Rubial, and if he's a little bit more conditioned than Andrew, it's going to be all she wrote. Night, night. All she wrote. And it's going to be the next big thing. Might even uh, tickle the fancy of defeating a Samson Douda. Could you imagine if he tickled that type of fancy? Wow. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the Arnold's Classics, come on, get to the Chapa, is not until the very first weekend in March. I believe it's the first to the third, if I'm not mistaken. So anything can happen. In the meantime, but man, oh man, I think these two dudes will be side by each at this year's Arnold's Classics. Come on! This place is too hot for a pickup. The chapel won't touch us till we reach the border. Hey, Billy, find me a way to this hole. Well, oh, come on! Subscribe to my channel, please, if you have not already. And if you would like to, you know, check out my latest video as well. And there is a playlist if you want to really help me out. You could watch a bunch of videos as well. Have a great one, ladies and gentlemen. Well, come on, Billy!